Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. It's been quite a while since I've done a movie log, so let's get into it. Before I start showing you some of the films that I've been watching recently, I first want to give a big shout out and a big thank you to my good friend, 4K Frank, who surprised me uh, last week. A package came that I was not expecting. He sent me a couple of films, a couple that I've never seen. So let me show you what they are. The first is Beverly Hills Cop with Eddie Murphy. Don't know how I managed to miss this all these years. I like Eddie Murphy, but I never saw that many of his films. So uh, this will be great. And he also sent me this very nice three-disc edition of Avatar, another film I've ever seen. Um, wow. Let me show you this. This is a very nice package. Nice artwork. Has a couple of different versions of the film, extra features, uh, all kinds of cool stuff. So... I think Frank must have upgraded to Blu-ray or 4K, one of the two. But So I appreciate this very much. I, I uh, intended to see this recently when it came back to theaters for a brief re-release period and didn't get around to it. So uh, thank you very much. Frank, you're a good friend, very generous, and uh, I appreciate it. Okay, so let me show you some of the things that I've been watching recently. And first of all, start off with something I picked up as an impulse purchase. I do that quite a lot. When I'm out shopping either at Barnes & Noble or any other uh, store like Best Buy or, or Walmart, I picked this up at Walmart just out of curiosity. And that is the Beatles Get Back DVD edition, which uh, it's the ultimate Beatles reality show. Uh, they were in January of 1969, they were in the studio working on the new album, Let It Be, which I also purchased after I got this. Never had this before. And they were also preparing for a live show, which would, would have been the first live show they had done in three years. So it just shows them interacting with each other. Uh, several hours of footage that was buried in a vault for decades. And director Peter Jackson put this together. This is really, this is so much fun. I had the best time watching this. Um, each one of these these three discs is like a, a feature film. The first one is, let's see, 158 minutes or 57. The second one is 173. Part three is 138. And uh, it, it, like, it's, it's just so much fun seeing all these guys when they were young and healthy and pretty much getting along with each other with a few controversies here and there. This is the calendar that went through all the month of January getting ready for uh, this concert. And, uh, you know, I was never a huge fan of the Beatles. I always liked them, but I certainly can't call myself a diehard fan. But uh, I, I, I always liked them. I bought, mainly I was buying their singles back in the day. I never, never really bought them any of their albums. But now I have most of their albums on CD. So, anyway... But it's so nice to see all these guys. It made me realize how much, how how funny they were, and how they they had such a cool relationship with each other and a way of interacting with each other. And it's nice to see George and John, you know, brought back to life. Um, it's a good feeling. You get to see some of the people they work with. Billy Preston is in the film. We have uh, some of their wives and girlfriends. We have Yoko. We have uh, Linda Eastman. Uh, Ringo's wife shows up, and I think did George's wife show up. I need to watch these again. This is going to take many viewings uh, just to enjoy the whole atmosphere. So it's kind of renewed my interest in the Beatles after a long time. So that's cool. Anyway, get back. I guess a lot of people are complaining about the fact that there are no extra features in this package. I don't know why people would complain about that, quite frankly, because there's so much going on here to to watch and, and enjoy. That uh, what do you need? What do you need extra features? But what do I know? Okay, speaking of impulse purchases, I bought a couple of things at Barnes and Noble that I knew nothing about, just because I wanted to see new films as opposed to uh, my usual old classics. So I picked up this. It's called The Humans, which is um, based on well, it's the it was started out as a as a Broadway play. I guess it was a Tony Award winning play. It's all about a family, three generations of a family meeting for a Thanksgiving dinner in the uh, daughter's new apartment, which is basically empty, doesn't have a lot of furniture, and it just shows all these people rattling around this big apartment, 
talking in different rooms and it really gives a very strange ambiance of of the feeling where you it's very realistic about how several people are in this big space in different rooms and you hear little uh, parts of conversations you're not sure exactly what you're hearing uh, people are talking about each other and their, their lives you can't quite make out everything that's going on and it will take a couple of watches for me to really savor this but it was fascinating uh the star of the film was richard jenkins very good actor he's he and june squibb who plays his mother the only two actors i have i have any familiarity with but it also has let's see who plays his wife these are names i'm not familiar with uh jane howdy shell amy schumer plays one of the daughters we have Beanie Feldstein, and then we have Stephen, I guess it's Yoon, Y-E-W-N. Anyway, a fascinating movie uh, as little secrets of their, their family life come out. Not all of them terribly pleasant. Uh, very interesting. Good movie. And f also I picked this up, a film called The Righteous that I'd never heard of. And uh, this is a beautiful movie. It's in gorgeous black and white cinematography. Let's see, I don't know any of these actors or the director who is also in the film. His name is, oh boy, my eyesight, Mark O'Brien. Okay, Mark O'Brien acted in the film and also directed it. First film he directed. It's It has the ambiance of a horror film. In fact, it's described on the back here, a brooding occult horror with echoes of Bergman and Pasolini. The Righteous insinuates its way beneath the skin by way of an intelligent script, taught direction, and strong performances. And uh, it has to do with uh, hidden sin and atonement. Uh, has a very religious theme, and uh, but done in a very respectful way. And I kept I kept waiting for it to explode into real horror, but it it even though it's filled with dread and uh, tension. It, it's, it turns out to be something quite different. I always like it when I see a film where I'm expecting it to go in one direction and then it takes me in another. Uh, fascinating. Very good performances by all these actors. So again, this is going to take more than one watch to really savor it. Uh, I picked this up, I think about a week ago, uh, a film I've never seen. I'm always kind of curious about They Live by John Carpenter, starring um, Rowdy Roddy Piper, and let's see, Keith David and Meg Foster. Okay, always very curious about this, and uh, I wasn't sure what to expect. I, I was kind of expecting it to be a, a, a violent, bloody mess, and it wasn't. I loved it. I had a great time watching this, and uh, <laughs> I'm sorry I waited so long. Roddy Piper was a cool actor, cool guy, and you know I remember him from the old wrestling days. Uh, yeah, very good. Okay, they live. And also, I decided to attack my my two watch pile. I did a video a couple of months ago talking about all the films in my two watch pile that have been sitting there, you know, piling up for a couple of years. Finally got around to watching this Criterion film, The Wages of Fear, from 1953, directed by Henri Clouseau. And uh, finally got around to watching it. I, the reason I bought this, and I talked about this in a previous video, probably a couple of years ago, I had seen the remake, the remake, Sorcerer, directed by William Friedkin in 1977. I saw this in one of my film classes, and the, the film instructor was talking about how much he loved this movie and what a big influence it had on his life and his decision to study film and become a film critic. But for some reason, this was not available to him, so he didn't show us this. He showed us the remake instead, which I was blown away by, and it made me curious about this. But as I said, this sat on the shelf for years, and I never got around to watching it. I am so glad I finally did. It is fantastic. They are very, very different films. Um, both have much to recommend them. I think probably, well, I would probably put this a little bit higher above, mainly for the story, although the, the special effects and the, the tension in this, quite incredible. But this is really wonderful, and I will I will enjoy watching this again. Uh, fascinating film, gorgeous black and white cinematography. Okay, and uh, a couple more things here. I got a lot of films. Well, first let me another impulse purchase from Barnes and Noble. I picked up 
Lost City, starring Channing Tatum and uh, Sandra Bullock and Daniel Radcliffe, okay, which is a comedy adventure. I see a franchise here. I think this is going to come back, Lost City Part 2. Um, thoroughly enjoyed it. I like both of these actors. Daniel Radcliffe was very fun. He was sort of a, a tongue-in-cheek villain and uh, lots of great action and, uh, you know, really exciting uh, battles and, and fights against villains and animals and fighting with each other and, of course, eventually falling in love. So, you know, that's going to happen. But these are, these are two great actors who were a lot of fun to watch. So that was, yeah, I'm very glad that I picked that up. All right. And it was 30% off, so you can't go wrong with that. And the final thing I want to show you, I got a lot of films recently that I, I will have to do a haul video from the most recent Kino Lorber sale. And one of them that I that I decided to watch first is Mario Bava's Planet of the Vampires, which uh, I already have this on DVD. And I uh, was very looking forward to getting it on Blu-ray because it is literally a visual feast it's not so much that it has a great story although the story is interesting and it inspired films like uh alien for example but uh yeah this is uh just a beautiful film to watch and don't let the slowness and somewhat dryness of the story bother you don't let that keep you away from this because it is absolutely beautiful to look at uh, it's amazing what baba could do with low budgets. Uh, he, he was an expert. And finally, uh, that's pretty much all I want to show you. But I, I, one more thing I would like to show you is I finally got around to buying um, a new video camera. This is a Sony something or other. Anyway, so I got this about a week ago and I'm very slow at getting things set up. It took me three days to set up the uh, the date and time on the uh, camera and so I finally got around to buying a memory card to insert and let me see if I can learn how to use this so anyway I'm getting used to being on this webcam so maybe I'll just do this for a while too anyway that is my that is my update my movie log and uh, thanks again to Frank and uh, thank you for watching and please leave comments okay take care folks